In this video, we are going to learn how to work with Ethernet interfaces. Once you have your PC Ethernet interface support enabled, you will have a list of Ethernet interfaces in the bottom right of the Vehicle Spy logon screen. You can see more of the interface list by enlarging the window or by dragging to the left to the vertical slider that divides the hardware device list and Ethernet interface list. Here, you can see all your computer interfaces. Note that from Vehicle Spy's perspective, Wired Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth are considered Ethernet interfaces and will show up here. The radio buttons are used to select which interface you want VehicleSpy to use. For this example, we will select the interface that the PC is using for its internet connection. On the PC used for this guide, that's the Wired Ethernet interface, select whichever one is appropriate for your machine. Click the radio button to the left of the appropriate interface. In our example, it would be the one that says Local Area Connection. To view your Ethernet statistics, you will notice the two columns on the left side of the Ethernet interface list. The Packets column will show approximately how many messages are being received on the interface each second, while Total counts all messages seen by Vehicle Spy 3, either since it was started or since the list was last refreshed. You can use these columns to monitor overall traffic on the PC's Ethernet interfaces. This can be handy in certain cases. For example, if we weren't sure whether the PC was connected to the Internet over its wired or wireless interface, the data here would tell us pretty quickly which one is actually active. The Refresh Ethernet Interface button can be used for two purposes. First, it tells Vehicle Spy to update the interface list adding any new network connections that have been added since the program was started, and removing any that have been disabled. Second, it can be used to reset the statistics in the two columns. Your list of interfaces should remain the same, but notice that the packet counts of all interfaces are reset to zero, and then the active ones begin counting up again. Watch a series of our automotive ethernet tutorials and videos on our YouTube channel, website, or contact our support team at intrepidcs.com.